today creating three types of stuffed peppers. These are certainly not your traditional stuffed peppers. These are more fun, more flavorful, just like these epic creations all on their own. If these skillet recipes do not get eaten before making it into a pepper, then you're awesome because I can't say mine's always did. But the aroma that gets baked into the flavors is convincing and the pepper serves as a vessel similar to like a uh, like a breadwood um, when you're eating it with something but it's better taste and gluten free first thing we're gonna do is start by making a garlic butter rice with kale in with the butter then a little garlic we're gonna saute that for a little bit and then add the rice salt and pepper and toast the rice vegetable stock then lower the heat and cook according to your package directions while that's going we're going to prep the kale remove any big stems leaving the softer part of the leaf the stems you can use later in a smoothie or in your compost check out our website for a great green smoothie idea in a bowl add a little olive oil salt, pepper, and massage the leaves to help soften up the texture. And cook it down a little bit before adding it to the rice. In another skillet, we're gonna start out with olive oil and onions. Saute that for a few minutes. Next is garlic and saute that for another minute or two. Here, we're going to add in black beans, corn, fire roasted tomatoes. We're gonna push that around a little and add in taco seasoning, garlic powder, finishing things up with a hint of lime juice. Let this marinate, then add in your garlic butter rice with kale. Here comes the chorizo to wrap things up. Heat everything through and get ready to remove from heat and add into your pepper. Make sure you're piling it all the way over the top. It's called stuffed peppers for a reason. Get our quinoa going according to the package directions. We use vegetable stock in place of water to add a little bit more flavor. Next, we're going to soak our walnuts for about 30 minutes. When ready, in a food processor pulse until you get a meat-like crumble. We're going to start off again with some oil, onions, and garlic to saute for a few minutes. Next is our Italian seasoning, fennel seeds, sun-dried tomatoes, and vegan Worcestershire sauce. Combine those flavors before adding in your walnuts. Add in your crumbles and you're looking to stir this occasionally. You want to combine all of the seasonings along with your walnuts completely. The walnuts you're looking to go from white to a toasted brown color. Next is your tomato sauce, quinoa, vegan mozzarella cheese, vegan Parmesan cheese. I like to sprinkle a little extra cheese in the base of the pepper before stuffing. These babies are delicious. In our last recipe here, we're gonna get some butter and saute our garlic. Adding your baby Bella mushrooms and cook those down until reduced in size. From here, you're going to add in your sun-dried tomatoes, cook for a few minutes, then reduce the heat before sprinkling your flour in and mixing it in. Any dairy-free milk here would work, then add in your spinach and stir until wilted down. Now add 
add in your rice and chickpeas and a little bit of red pepper flakes to give it a little kick. Lastly, bring the flavors together with a little pinch of salt and pepper. Spoon your ingredients into your hollow peppers, cover with foil and bake for about 30 minutes on 350. <music> Lastly, for those who have not made stuffed peppers, I would like to go over how you prep them. Pick peppers that are short and wide, not the tall slender kind. You want to start by cutting a line around the top of the pepper, trying not to go completely through. A little twist and tug it open. From here, you're almost done. Just use your thumb to break the white walls to completely hollow out the pepper. Thank you so much for tuning in and your support. Please drop a like, subscribe, and stop by next week to see what we're cooking up. Thank you.